Hey guys, how's it going? Troy here, Packers Corner. Uh, it's Tuesday, thought I'd shoot, shoot a quick video. I uh, ended up getting a card in the mail today, just one singular card. Didn't Haven't been uh, purchasing all that much from eBay. But um, I did get this in the mail, which is a really nice card for my 2005 Rookies and Stars set. Uh, this is a Brett Favre slideshow. It's actually numbered out of 1,250. Uh, great looking card, sharp, centered, everything, no problem with the edges. Uh, this card I currently have uh, two of them. I have this one numbered to 1,250, and then I have another one that's numbered to 750. I believe there's maybe two more, one to like 500 or 450, and then another one to 250. And I'm going to try and pick up those at some point. Uh, there's a couple guys that have them, they've been wanting the moon for them, they're not worth all that much. I picked this one up literally for $3 with shipping and handling, so you can tell here they're not that all that expensive. So, anyways, thought I'd show you that real quick. Uh, the other thing I was going to show you that I picked up, uh, something a little bit weird. Some of you guys will think it's kind of strange. I don't know. depends on how um, old school you are. Uh, you guys know I collect some odd things, not just sports cards and Packers. I actually collect uh, video game marquees, the giant uh, lit, it up, lit up sign, excuse me, lit up sign. I, I collect those, too. I have about 40, maybe 40 to 45 of those. Everything from Donkey Kong to Pac-Man to Qbert to Tron to Bump and Jump. To burger time. I mean, I have got a ton of them, and I love them. They're on, they're on the wall of my garage. I actually had to take them down. We're trying to move here, so they're still on, on a shelf right now. But I collect those. I also collect lunch boxes. I have about 30 to 40 lunch boxes. Everything from the early 70s until about oh, I say 87 or so. Um, I uh, Josh, my buddy Josh Tuye, he gives me a lot of crap about those uh, that, that I collect lunch boxes. Uh, and he thinks I think I think I'm a goofball. Uh, for collecting them, and, and you know what, buddy? I am a goofball for collecting them, and I love it. But one of the other things I do collect, guys, um, kind of strange, but I, I think it's fun. I love it. I collect uh, drinking glasses from the 70s and the 80s from the uh, from the store, not the stores, from the restaurants that we used to eat at when we were kids, you know, like McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, Burger Chef, uh, stuff like that. And what I picked up tonight at a flea market was this. This is a 1978 Superman drinking glass from Superman the movie. Now, what's cool about this is I don't see too many of these around. I mean, you probably could find them on eBay, and I'm not even sure what they what they charge. But I picked this up for two dollars and fifty cents. That's a great buy. The ones I usually see when I did see them around time, town, and they never stayed around too long. They wanted like ten dollars, fifteen dollars. Sometimes even twenty, depending on what it is. So I picked this up for two fifty, and these are the kind of drinking glasses that I actually collect. Um, I actually do have a whole set of the Return of the Jedi ones. I think I have about three to four sets of those. Uh, actually, I used to have four. I think I gave one set away as a gift to someone. I have about three to four sets, maybe five sets of the Muppets, the Muppet movie. Uh, I have I have about four sets of those. I gave a couple away. I gave one away as a gift. And I think over the years we've broken a few of them. Uh, I have Star Wars. I told you that Star Trek. I've got E.T. I've got um, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. I've got Pac-Man ones. Um, I just put them in the cupboard and we drink from them normally. Just normal. And what's really cool is that when people come over and uh, for supper or dinner or whatever like that and they say want something to drink, I go ahead and fill up one of these and hand it to them. And you should see it. Dude, where did you get this? Oh my gosh. I remember when I had this as a kid and I... You know what it's like. Some of you guys are looking at this right now going, holy moly, I remember those types of glasses. Anyways, I just love the, the feeling and the memory when I drink out of those, and my kids love drinking out of them too now that they're, that they're old enough. But um, anyways, that's something I collect and I got. Uh, the other thing I did pick up is something I actually picked it up, I believe, last Thursday or Friday. I stopped at an antique store, a real small antique store. Well, I, maybe it's not that small. It's a pretty good size antique store. On the way home from school, I had a, just a little bit of time to kill. And uh, I saw this in a case, and as soon as I saw it, all I could think about right away was my buddy Ray. And you'll understand why. Uh, what I found is this. It's a collector's carrying case of Garbage Pail Kids. Pretty sweet looking thing. You can see it on the side there. See it on the back there? They list a bunch of the ones. Holds up to 160 cards inside there. Of course, it's got Adam Bomb on the front right there in front so you can all can see. So I went over to the lady, or actually it was a guy, and I said, hey, can I, can I take a look at that? Because it was in like this plastic container case locked down so no one can mess with it. And uh, so I saw the price and went, oh, okay, it's not too bad. Not a bad price for what I thought it was. And then I said, can I take a look? And I opened it up. Check this out. Yeah, the thing is filled with like 100 cards. And uh, 
you talk about surprise, man. I opened this sucker up and I started pulling out some of them, just kind of looking at them, because I don't know anything really about these cards at all. Literally, I don't know anything about them. And what I figured I would do was I bought the thing for my buddy Ray simply because of the fact that I know he collects these. And these are some of them that are in there. Again, I don't know if... if it, I'm not even going to take the time to go through eBay to find out what they're worth. It's not worth it to me. What, I do, what is worth it to me is I got a buddy, Ray, uh, strictly GPK, that I know collects this stuff. And to me, that's important enough that I want to pick this up and send it to him as a, as a just because. So, Ray, if you're seeing this, uh, just be watching the mail in the next week or so. Uh, these are all coming to you. I believe there's 100 cards in here or so. Uh, all the cards, I believe, are from 1986. I don't know if that's valuable or not. Uh, the cards aren't maybe in the greatest condition, but the reason why I bought it was because of this case. The case is in really nice condition uh, overall. It's got some, like, some some spots. But anyways, guys, this is the stuff you can find even at antique stores if you happen to stop. Uh, you'll be surprised. One person's, you know, I don't want to call it junk, something they just want to get rid of ends up being your your find of the day, your you know, flea market find. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving. If I don't talk to you before uh, Thursday, make sure you count your blessings, name them one by one, and uh, give your mom, dad, hug, uh, sister, brother, I don't care if it's your wife, kids, make sure you give them a hug and a kiss and you tell them that you're so thankful that they're in your life. Uh, anyways, guys, I appreciate all you guys. You're my brother and on YouTube. I love being able to share things with you. And you guys have a great week. God bless.